Real Madrid were dealt a major blow in the defence of their La Liga title as they were held to a 1-1 draw by Atletico Madrid on Saturday night. The result now leaves the door open for La Liga leaders Barcelona to widen the gap at the top to 10 points should they defeat UD Almeria later tonight. Things will only get more difficult for Carlo Ancelotti's side moving forward as they have a tricky run of fixtures lying ahead. Up next for Real Madrid is a visit to Estadio Benito Villamarín to face Real Betis. And, they will have to take on Manuel Pellegrini's side without one of their main man in Luka Modric. Indeed, the 37-year-old veteran midfielder has been ruled out of the game against Los Verde Blancos after he picked up a yellow card late in the contest against Atletico on Saturday night. The booking meant that Modric now has received five yellow cards in La Liga this season, which earns him an automatic one-match ban. This is certain to come as a blow for Real Madrid, considering that matches against Betis are always tricky, and having an experienced individual like Modric would have been handy for Ancelotti and co. But the Real Madrid boss has enough depth in the middle of the park with Tony Cruz, Eduardo Camavinga, Dani Sabolos, Aurelien Chouamini and Federico Valverde. Modric has played 33 matches so far this season for Los Blancos, producing a tally of 6 goals and 5 assists. The 37-year-old has less than five months left on his contract with the club and a renewal is not yet certain. Following the 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid on Sunday, it felt like Real Madrid had pretty much kissed goodbye to their hopes of retaining the La Liga title. After all, the slip-up meant that league leaders Barcelona had the opportunity to increase their advantage at the top to 10 points. But, the Blagrana failed to capitalize on the opening as they suffered a shock 1-0 defeat to UD Almeria last night, meaning Real Madrid remained seven points behind them. And, now Mario Cortigana of The Athletic is reporting that there is a strong belief within the Real Madrid squad that they can still retain the La Liga title despite the gap between them and Barcelona currently. The report claims that following Barca's defeat to Almeria last night, the Real Madrid players' WhatsApp group was very active, with messages of joy and even some jokes being exchanged among the squad members. At the same time, Carlo Ancelotti and his staff were also understood to be happy with the outcome of their rivals' match, after how things had panned out on Saturday. The report states that the Italian and his team were upset at the amount of criticism that they had received after the draw against Atletico as they felt that the detractors were not factoring the toll that the comeback win against Liverpool earlier that week had taken. Either way, Real Madrid squad members continue to believe that they can scale the gap between themselves and Barcelona and successfully defend their La Liga crown. With the battle for the league title heating up, the Clásico at Camp Nou on March 19 will have major repercussions on how the race could unfold. But before that, Real Madrid will host Barca in the first leg of the Copa del Rey semi-final later this week. A victory here could be the ideal catalyst for Ancelotti and company to push for the title while denting their rivals' confidence further.